So let's begin by placing some uh, profile name uh, boundaries. Uh, we're going to set our uh, we're going to set it to one inch equals a hundred, and you'll see this new option here, full last boundary. Let's leave this um, let's leave this disabled. So we'll identify our profile. Uh, we'll set our first one, and then notice that the profile because we're going by station limits it, it's going to end at the last station so we're going to get a a partial named boundary so let's go ahead and accept that and once we do we'll say okay and you can see the last sheet uh, you don't get a full uh, profile uh, grid it always cuts off because that's the end of the name uh, boundary so that's the problem people are wanting to uh, in their last sheet they would like the grid to continue even though the profile actually stops here so let's go see how we can make that happen so let's do this again let's go to our name boundary tool um, we'll do we'll leave everything the same okay except this time we're going to toggle on full last boundary. So let's identify, uh, we'll get our first name boundary, which you can see, but you'll notice the difference this time is it will always force a full last boundary. So let's go ahead and accept that, and we'll say OK. And this time on sheet two, you'll notice that even though the profile ends here, we, we go ahead and grid and annotate the entire name boundary space.